The Game Boy Advance doesn't have the luxury of an operating system to manage all of the hardware while making games. It's up to the software developer to control every piece of the machine with their code. Ow. There are a few addresses in memory, called registers, where we can store 16 bits of data that the hardware can then read, kind of like instructions. Each bit of data can be treated like a yes or no question that the developer has to answer to do certain things, like enable or disable a feature. Or they can use multiple bits to store numeric values. A crucial register for any project is the display control register, which sets the display mode, decides which backgrounds will be drawn, and if sprites will be drawn. On one hand, it's pretty difficult remembering what all of these registers do and managing them all in your code. But on the other hand, the freedom to control them inspired a lot of creativity in developers to design some really cool and unique effects.